My name is Sandra and I am the Wicked Reseller. If you're new to my channel, I am an online reseller. I buy mostly vintage items uh, at estate sales, yard sales, and thrift stores, and then I sell them for a profit online. And I'm currently selling on eBay, Etsy, and Grailed. Um, so, uh, kind of a busy weekend. Uh, we, um, Saturday, we went to a community uh, yard sale uh, over a few towns over from us. And uh, it's an older community, so I knew they'd have uh, lots of goodies and lots of vintage stuff. Um, and then yesterday, I worked on prepping some of these items so that I could photograph them and get them listed. Um, I have a pair of sandals, hiking sandals that I cleaned up, uh, just soaked in some soapy water and scrubbed a little bit. And then... Um, I took the sweater shaver to some items that uh, needed some love. So yeah, so um, I did take some footage of uh, the yard sale, so I will put that in here next, and then um, I'll meet you guys back here and I'll show you what I got. Alright, so uh, pretty good, uh, cool yard sale. We did hit one or two after, um, but we I didn't get anything for resale. Um, picked up some things uh, that we needed for the house, uh, but no resale items. So just that first yard sale was uh, was a, a good uh, a good time. No, it was a good sourcing opportunity. There we go. Uh, let's get to it. So first, uh, and some of these I haven't, uh, haven't looked up yet, but, uh, I got these two Fiesta Wear, uh, tall mugs, and they have, uh, the old Fiesta Wear, like, pictures here and here, a teapot, and I'm not sure what this other thing is, but they are labeled Fiesta on the bottom so two of them no chips no cracks they were a little dirty so I washed them um, so minimum I would say $25 again I have to do research on these but um, this is a cool find and the colors great I love that color uh, so that one uh, these are the sandals I was talking about uh, they are Tevas um, and they're, I want to, they're smaller size. I think they're size six, I believe. I think they're size six. Uh, but anyway, uh, Tevas are really good hiking. They make hiking shoes and sandals. Um, there's a lot of hiking that happens, uh, here. Um, so I do see a lot of hiking shoes, uh, and I should probably be able to get maybe... At least 30 for these. They're in really good shape. The only issue is there's a minor scuff there. But other than that, they're uh, they're in great shape. Uh, picked up some hats. Um, 
some of the stuff Rebecca found, and I want to say she found two of these hats, and then I found the other two. Uh, there's a there are a lot of golfers around here, uh, so I see a lot of golf stuff and PGA stuff. So um, I actually hand washed this hat because it was a little dirty. It does have some fading along here, but that's not a big deal. So at least 25 for that one. This one's in really good shape. It looks like it was never worn. Um, the inner band is clean. You know, sometimes you pick up those hats and it's all kind of nasty. Uh, but yeah, it doesn't look like they ever wore it. Just kind of a display thing. Uh, probably 25 on that. Uh, whenever I see luxury car items, uh, I pick it up. Um, there are a lot of uh, very wealthy people that live here in the desert and they drive a lot of luxury cars and uh, typically those people are diehard fans of that brand. Um, so here's a Mercedes-Benz hat. And then there's a the back, there's a strap back. Uh, oh, everything I'm showing you here today, um, is, I got for $15 total for everything. So that, um, I'm not sure on that one, maybe 30 or 35 uh, on that one. And then, um, I do have to do some research on this, but this is the, um, it's like airline, it's A-O-P-A. Airline Airplane Owners Pilots Association or something like that. And it's it was their 80 year anniversary. Um, so 2019, it is new, never been worn. So it has the little cardboard insert there. Uh, again, I'll have to look this up. At least 25 on this one, maybe more if, uh, if it's a uh, popular... Uh, club. So there's that. And I had a bunch of um, eyeglass, eyeglasses and eyeglass cases uh, at this yard sale. And then I saw this Fendi. Um, it does have some scratches on the outside, like two. There's like two scratches here and then there's a slight one under here. You open it up got the Fendi logo on the inside and these are Fendi um, bifocals. You can see there it's got Fendi on the side. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> um, so I'm not sure on these but 50 or 60 maybe? Maybe more? I, again um, I'm gonna have to do a little research on them, but it's cool. It's got the case and the glasses in it. I didn't expect that. Uh, this next, oh, and the two hats that Rebecca found uh, were the Mercedes Benz and then the Pilot hat. She found both of those, so. Uh, she also found, she also found this. All right. It's totally 80s. <laughs> uh, so, I mean, it's got this black and white design, and then it's got kind of a little pop of color here. Um, it doesn't have a size in it, uh, but I'll measure it and uh, figure out the size from there. But hmm, I wonder if it'll fit me. Let's try. Too small. Um, anyway, it's um, it's linen. You see those those lines there, up and down like that. That's a it's a linen jacket. Uh, again, I'll have to do more research. The brand is <sighs> Lindsay Scott Sport. Um, it did have a couple of um, small marks on it, uh, but I was able to get them out. Uh, so yeah. So maybe 50-ish dollars, maybe more. 
Again, more research is needed. Uh, what else? Oh. Um, this is not vintage, but it is a apartment nine and is a cashmere sweater, women's sweater. Um, so I do always pick up cashmere. It's, uh, it's very popular and uh, it can sell for good money. Um, maybe about 30 to 40 for this one. Uh, and then, of course, a few t-shirts uh, that I picked up. And this one. It's pretty gaudy. Uh, but from Mexico. Uh, it also, I also picked up, there was the same design, but it's a muscle shirt. Uh, but it has a little stain on the bottom that I'm working on getting out, so it's currently soaking. So hopefully uh, that will come out, but I've already washed and bleached. This one was a little dingy, so I've washed and bleached it. And one more t-shirt that I got was this one. So it says, it's a blast. 1998 Long Beach Grand Prix and uh, it says Sea Launch, Kessel, Young, and Logan. It kind of sounds like a lawyer's office. Anyway, it's in uh, in good condition. Uh, this one was a little dingy as well, uh, so I bleached it uh, and it does have some holes there at the bottom. But I'm not worried about that. Um, so this one I'm probably, again, more research needed, but if it's just a basic t-shirt, I'll put it up for $39.99 and, um, I'll go as low as $25 on it. It's, uh, it's on a Hanes tag. It's an XL. Uh, but yeah, it's a cool shirt. I like the graphic. And then... Last but not least, if you've noticed behind me, uh, I picked up that jacket. Rebecca found that. Uh, she, uh, while I was looking at some other stuff, she went quick through the clothes and the jackets and stuff and pulled some stuff for me to look at. Uh, so let me grab it for you. So we have Cartier on the back, and then this is the front. It is the Barbados International Polo Challenge, and it's Polo Gear USA. That's the brand of the jacket. Uh, just a basic lightweight zipper jacket. Um, and when she showed it to me, she showed me this, and I'm like, oh, that's kind of cool. But and then I flipped it over, and I saw Cartier, and I was like. Good. So, um, I've done, I've done a little research on that one. Uh, it's, um, there's one on Grailed right now, uh, on sale for $129.99. It looks like they started at $199.99. Uh, theirs is also, it's the same brand, but it has a couple of more patches and a number on it. So I don't know if that makes a difference. Uh, but yeah, I'm going to start it high and see what I can get. So I'll probably put it up for $199.99 and with best offer on eBay. And um, I'll do the smart pricing on Grail for this one. Um, for those that don't know, uh, you can enable smart pricing on your Grail listings. And every seven days, it'll drop it by 10% and then bump it to the top of the search for you. So not bad. Not a bad haul at all. So, yeah, that's it. Um, no real big plans for the week. We've got a friend coming over uh, for dinner. Uh, I'm gonna make some enchiladas, so I'm gonna I'm gonna get those started after I'm done filming here, and we're gonna hang out with our buddy, maybe watch some movies or something. Um, Rebecca's. <laughs> Rebecca's car uh, is in the shop. 
as if we need more bad luck with vehicles. Um, but she was, uh, she was out and uh, was leaving uh, a local city park and she was turning right onto a road and then next thing she knows her tire is, instead of going this way, is kind of going out this way. <laughs> Uh, so I went, um, uh, and got her and she took my car, uh, and I waited on the, uh, the tow truck and, uh, we dropped it off and, uh, we got word today, uh, that the axle snapped and something else. I can't quite remember. Anyway, uh, it's only going to be a couple hundred bucks to fix it with our mechanic. So that's good because we were afraid it was going to be more, um, so, major crisis averted, but it still sucks that it, uh, <laughs> that it, uh, that it snapped like that. But I am thankful, uh, that she was just pulling out of a city park on, like, a, like, a surface street and not on the 10 going 70 miles an hour. So, thankful for that. Um, I have pet, uh, a couple day pet sitting job coming up on Wednesday, and that's at the dog farm. Uh, if you guys have watched my videos in the past, uh, my clients out there, they have five dogs and uh, this huge 10 acre farm um, that's all fenced in and uh, it's a really cool place and they're great dogs. I love hanging out with them. Uh, so I'll be doing that for a couple of days and then it'll be the weekend again. I don't think we have anything huge planned for the weekend either. But... So that's my week and that's my haul. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, if you did, please make sure you give it a thumbs up. Uh, and if you're not subscribed, please do subscribe. Uh, it does help uh, my YouTube channel if you are subscribed. Uh, and then if you hit the after you subscribe, if you hit the bell, uh, it'll alert you. It should alert you um, that uh, I, when I post new content. So that's it. Um, oh, um, comments help me too. So even just saying hi or great video or anything down there. And as always, if you have any comments or questions for me, um, just comment below and I'll respond. So that's it. Uh, our other cat, Athena, that's a little shy, uh, is in here with me. I'm gonna see if she'll let me pick her up and take us out. Here she is. So here she is. Oh. Okay, guys. So you tell them Say like, comment, subscribe. See you guys later.